Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 21st Annual Garden State Film Festival. We are at uh, in beautiful Asbury Park, New Jersey, at the Shared Universe Podcast Lounge inside the Berkeley Hotel. My name is Ming Chen. CJ Cullen. And uh, I'm here with some returning guests, some new guests. Uh, hello. Welcome back, my friends. Uh, always good to see you. I know things are going well when I see both of you here on the couch in the lounge. Uh, would you guys please introduce yourselves? Uh, hi, I'm Jay Kunsaker. I'm the uh, well, I'm an actor and writer director of uh, Meatloaf and Ham at the Year. <laughs> Pie, Meat, Meatloaf and Pie, Meatloaf and Pie, Meat, Meatloaf and Pie at the Sunset Cafe. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Andrew Hunsker. I, I uh, co-wrote and acted in Meatloaf and Pie. Although Meatloaf and Ham would be a good sequel. Yeah, that sounds like a good sequel, right? We could, we could just roll off. And then, oh wait, then like there's other breakfast foods. Oh, yeah, we, we can just go down the road through the whole like trilogy going here. Trilogy going. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, I will eat ham. meatloaf and ham, says Sa <laughs> Sam I am. Yes, for sure. Am, yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, over to my right here. And I'm Danny Donnelly. I was a cinematographer and editor on Meatloaf and Pie in the Sunside Cafe. Uh, such a great title. So great <laughs> that, you know, we keep, you keep uh, sometimes you just insert other foods. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw it immediately. I was like, huh, this sounds awesome yeah. uh can you we tell like us our food right we like our breakfast we foods do and like our breakfast food our lunch foods, lunch foods and our dinner foods, and our dinner foods. Yeah. a lot of restaurants breakfast is the best but um yeah. yeah can you tell us about meatloaf and pie at the sunset cafe uh yeah i can tell you a little bit there's a lot of reveals in the film okay uh, mm -hmm. yeah but uh it's it's definitely a, a really stylistic um fun intense and funny film i think about uh a nice confrontation between a good guy and a bad guy in a diner, and they both have something up their sleeve, and that's kind of the yeah. best way I can put it. <laughs> Amazing! I know you guys are you guys are both from Jersey, correct? No, actually, no. we're we're closer to Philly. Philly, closer okay, Philly. but okay, so you, but you know the classic Jersey diner, oh, like absolutely, uh, yeah, you yes. know, in our area, the Philly Jersey mm. diner. Oh yeah, um, a lot of stories at every diner across Jersey and Philadelphia every day. Uh, a lot of confrontations. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it's pretty. So, uh, but this is one one confrontation yes. that takes place. At this, that that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. And you guys, you got you both co-wrote this. Yes, yes. All right. What is that like co-writing? Co um, is it is it tough? Is it does it make it easier? What's your process? For us, I think it's pretty easy because yeah, it's it usually just a lot of like back and forth. Like, just what do you think of this? You know, yeah. like you know, like yeah. you keep you keep each other honest too. Yes. Sometimes you go off you can go off the rails a bit. Right. Put some ideas, and it's good to have someone who thinks like you, but also can kind of bring you back. Can balance you out. Yeah, okay. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's a little too much. Okay. Okay. That's good. <laughs> right. right. That's or, just right, though. Yeah. That's just right. or like, wait, I got this idea. It's like, oh, oh, wait, no, I got. Okay, I got it. I got <laughs> this. You know. I got it, this. It helps. I, I think I find it so much easier because you just get that kind of feedback. And yeah. And uh, how do you film in a diner? Uh, well, we <laughs> yeah, use... Like they're, they're small and cramped, yeah, right? right? And yeah. Well, this is actually a restaurant that we've used multiple times on okay. other projects. Okay. If you've seen the arrangement that played oh, here a couple yes. years ago, it was in that film. It was in... Uh, Another film that my wife and I actually did, Colas and Location, that Andrew acted in as well. Um, do they stay open or they let you close or no, you do it they, after they hours? Know, they know the owners. We did it after hours, yeah. right, Andrew? Yeah, they're closed yeah. on Mondays, my wife. Yes. Yeah. Ah, they're, yeah. They're very generous. And the beautiful thing, be, being an independent filmmaker, which I'm sure a lot of people watching are, mm -hmm. uh, getting a good location that you can control and, and have yes. for the period of time is really lovely. And we've used this several times. Yeah, yeah. So we had to stylize it a little differently mm. in terms of make it look like a diner right. slash also like a rundown diner. Yeah, like okay. Oh, yeah. It's a really it's, nice, it's, it's a nice it's, diner. It's a really so nice so yeah. we had to really played up the uh, dingy. Yeah, get creative with the lighting. Yeah, like we're gonna go dark, you know, <laughs> and make it moody and yeah. <laughs> right. It's like we need more grease. All right. We're, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And Danny's Danny's lighting was was really nice. Uh, so cool. he'll tell the yeah. Story. Really, really set cool. the tone there. That's amazing. What inspired this project? Were you guys sitting around a cup of coffee late one night at a diner? I was like, hey, I got, I think <laughs> so, I got something. It's kind of funny. Um, well, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm always drinking coffee. We love diners, all that. But, yeah. but basically, there's a, a good friend of ours, a great actor named Dax Richardson, who uh, was in the film, and he had come to us about like a really very ambitious feature idea he wanted to do involving like basically a cop, okay, you know, a good guy and a bad guy, right? Like a, and it's basically it would, it would involve like going across the country. It was a very epic and awesome idea. Yeah, we were talking about that. We we got the idea of like you know maybe just kind of isolating a conflict between two people like right. that in a diner and kind of just making its own separate isolated incident. Yeah, and that's kind of where it came about. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And, and Dax was gracious enough to yes. to, to allow us to kind of. <laughs> 
but his script is it's, it's very it's different. But yeah, it, 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 it's similar elements. But yes, what we did in this is nothing that he was looking at. He, yeah, just you know. So, but um, yeah, Dax is a fantastic. Guy. We kind of went off uh, we, off we went, in your own direction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in our own direction. Yeah. Right. But that's that's initially where it kind of like con was conjured, I suppose. We talked yep. to Dax, and we're like, oh, you know, the diner thing stuck with me, and you know, diners yeah, are so iconic in films. I you think know? I yeah. think the way to describe it is we took the movie Heat. I, I was about to ask the oh, De Niro, yeah. De Niro uh, uh, Pacino, scene. Pacino scene, having oh, coffee. Yeah. That, that, uh, you yeah. know, We're not yes. so different, you and I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but brother, I will take you down. Yeah, yeah it's a great scene. It's a great scene. Yeah. You took the movie Heat and remarried it with the reality of uh, Diner Meatloaf. Yes. If you, if you see the film, you'll, you'll, you'll see what that means. But, yes. Uh, what can happen in those situations? Uh. So it's kind of a, I don't know, Danny, who do you think? No, I, I agree. <laughs> it definitely goes one. We've seen it go one way, and then it's just like, <laughs> and then it, uh, it, it's a surprise. I like it's hard. Do you want to give anything away until you see? Because there's definitely is. like something yeah. you really don't see coming, and then when it happens, it you're like, oh, your head a bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, intentionally. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, I think it's a lot of fun. It, the thing is, it's, it's a fun film. It's a fun, entertaining festival. film. It really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Andy did a great job. He also edited it, so he brought in uh, some great music. And uh, just just put it together nicely. It was a really family kind and, of and thing. Yeah, it was. It was basically it's it's almost like a little like troupe of just like actors, filmmakers, artists that we all yeah. work together. Danny, I've directed him multiple times, and he's a mm. phenomenal actor. So it was kind of I actually act in this, and Danny yeah. shot it. So it was kind of fun. <laughs> <to have laughs> right. Danny the kind of other side of the camera. Acting. Yeah, it was different because you know. <laughs> It was cool. It was, you did really good. You did really good. It. Yeah. It was, you know, I've seen some great actors for a long time, you know. Yeah. So it's like I think, yeah, I want, I want to jump in the, in the, in the pool now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah give it sure. a go. Yeah, yeah, you crushed it too. It was, really yeah, it was, it's a fun role. It's great yeah. to have you guys back here, at Garden State Film Festival. How many how, times have you been here? Yeah, how many projects have you had in the Garden State Film Festival? Like acting, Over the years. Uh, creating, well, for you, probably. producing. I think well, the been arrangement. A while. I mean, been a while. It's been a while. I, I, that was here, I believe it was, and then uh, the arrangement. And I was in that thing last year. Tom Ryan, who's a really great filmmaker. Yep, yep. North we North love North. Tom. Yeah, Splinter. So uh -huh. maybe fourth or fifth for me. Wow. I think. And then technically second for me because of the arrangement, and then this and film here now. Right. So. right. Yeah. 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 But you, yeah, you've been all over here probably. Well, yeah, and we talk about actors in the film, Sophia. Uh, yes, talk about yeah, Sophia, Sophia please. Like, uh, please talk about Sophia. The whole yeah, we could talk about Sophia for forever. Really. <laughs> Sophia is just she's fantastic. Uh, um, yeah, she's she's one like one of my favorite actors. Yeah. she's in a lot of films in this festival. So yeah, you definitely see her. And her, yeah. and I think I like to think her dialogue was was pretty well written on our part. But I think that she just again elevated anything no, she said. No, it was just mm -hmm. I was just like, gee, <laughs> I didn't think she could make the line sound that much better than it was. Yeah, Jesus. which is great because you know as you're shooting it inside, you're like, yes, yes, oh, oh, wow. yeah. it was it was awesome. Yeah, and she's such a, um, a professional. She could do anything really. She was, yes, yeah. Um, and then Dax Richardson. Dax Richardson. And, and we had a guy named Dax that you can talk about for a long time. Um, and then we had another guy, Glenn Mack, now I just want to mention, who, yeah. was, who played. And he's a, he's a sports DJ in uh, Philly, but he's an actor too. And Danny, you've worked with him a few times too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worked Overall. in the arrangement. And yes. then he was yeah. also in our film, Last Known Location. So yeah. that's in post-production right now. So It's always fun yeah. to work with Glenn. But yeah, uh, but yeah no, it, was, uh, it was definitely a great time. And you guys had some awesome mano a mano yeah. <laughs> scenes in the diner. It was, it was good. It's good. But uh, great but, but um, you were talking talk more about Sophia. Just she's in like five or six films. Yeah, yeah. Movies. This year mm -hmm. alone, yeah. yeah. So it's amazing. And, and so I think she's emceeing a lot of the panels, like the yeah, kids after work interviews. She's got all and she's yeah, been online and just uh, she, she's at the after parties that mm. we're going to. Like she's, she's in all last over, location man. as well. Yeah. 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 Oh she's actually our feature film. She's a lead. Yeah, she's leading our in our film. Yeah. No, just such a talented person. Yeah, and we're grateful she's in ours. I mean, yes. Yeah. Anytime and she was in the arrangement. She was yeah. in the arrangement. Yeah. 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 I mean, but yes. anytime we can we can get her to, to you know, play with us, it's great. Yeah. Yes. Sophia Parola, she's awesome yes. and amazing. You should Big cast shout her. out to Sophia. <laughs> we love you, Sophia. Yeah, we do. I um can you talk about shooting this? Uh yeah. so technical oh, details, uh, what kind of cameras did you use? So I shot on my uh, red Komodo. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So one one? Yeah. One, okay. I, I know it's tough. Camera. And they're expensive. Tough. Sometimes like, hey, I got two or like How'd you, How'd you get two? <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I mean, I do have a buddy who also owns another red, uh, red epic dragon, which when we shot our feature film on the two reds, um, and that's like I said, in post production. But for shooting meatloaf and pie, it was like more of 
we had uh, only a couple of days at the, the diner mm -hmm. yeah. um, to knock this out, and we were kind of moving fast. So, like, the one thing was, like, all right, we knew what shots were on sticks. We were, we were going to be steady on. Right. Let's knock all that those angles out yeah. first. And we even, like, shot, um, like, a lot, of, a lot of the film takes place at a table, but it's also split up into, like, two parts. Right. So we shot all one side before flipping lighting, both parts, and then flipped it and shot all the other side. We so we strategically trying to keep in mind, like, what's the quickest way to move? Yep. Um, and also ca stay in the moment and capture performances. Yep. And then I had some moving shots on my gimbal and everything. That, that, yep. that were our steady cam shots yes. and stuff. And that was, like, you know, that was the last. I and mean, once I was on that, I knew I was going to be staying on that because right. I had to balance the camera and stuff on that. So That's it was... Yeah, run and gun, but we knocked it all out, yes. and then we did another. We did one pickup day for the bathroom. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> where, where, where happens, so, yeah. so three days total. Well, two, two, two at the diner. days, but we did actually go back and do like, some uh, quick pickups. Quick pick so, pick okay. yeah. yeah, closer to two days, but yeah, because the second day was shorter. Still, still how, how many pages in the script? Fifteen. That's a lot for two days. Yeah, two and a half, three days. We did like ten or eight. We really yeah, yeah. Wow. most of the script was the first day. We yeah. got a lot of it. Yeah, done, yeah. It, you're right. It's a lot. It's yeah. A lot. What then, um? What was the biggest challenge shooting this? Uh, lighting, lighting the pack. lighting okay. the the restaurant to make it look like a dingier yeah. place and that really was, uh, yeah, yeah. Focusing on that and and, and thinking like, all right, how the hell am I gonna you know make this look like not a nice restaurant right. yeah. <laughs> and make it look really a dingy is. diner yeah. and then it's yeah. Not easy. That and then also, I mean, like, uh, thank goodness we had like great actors and performers where we can knock out things in a couple of takes. Yes, I mean, um, like they were now under, they knew their stuff, they came prepared, they knocked it out. So really, it was just focusing on the technical aspects of yeah, the film because the performances sure. were there. It right, was the I'm, continuity with you know eating and placing, yeah, you know, yeah we doing were all, different. We were, we were all yeah. right on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we had a we had a meatloaf wrangler. Yeah. Okay, uh, right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> specific job. No, it's one of our jobs. Because you didn't so shoot it in, like, you couldn't really shoot it in order, right? Because you're switching back and forth. Or did you shoot it in as much order as you much could? As much as, we, much could. as we could. Sometimes yeah. you got to hop around a little bit. But uh, Danny mm -hmm. and I have worked together a lot. We're usually pretty good at, like, kind of... Yeah, and we yeah, met a day. Be, we met a day previously at the restaurant exactly. where we kind of scoped out everything and talked about what the idea yeah, was. We wanted to make sure what, what, stocks were, what shots were on the sticks and mm. what shots were going to be running and gunning. So yeah, we, we knew what we were doing. Yeah, how that. many meatloafs did you go through? Yeah, right. How many slices of meatloaf? <laughs> it was just one, right? It was impossible meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was like I guess three six ounces, three pa three, three pounds. Three packs, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. Wow. yeah. But, um, <laughs> you, had, you had a good deal. Yeah, I had a good deal. Of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so one thing on a tight shoot like this, one thing that speeds it up is uh, rehearsal. Did you guys do a lot of rehearsals with it? Oh, really? Yeah, okay. No, a Zoom read. Right? Yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Zoom yeah. read. So okay. Um, practicing this. Okay. But you, no. you got like Sophia for all. You got Dax Richardson. You got Glenn Mack. Then right. You got really good actors, stand-up uh, actors. I'm I'm spoiled as a director. Yeah, it, um, it, it makes it easier. Yeah, I am. I mean, and like, and obviously it was you know him and I were going to be acting. We were two of the actors in it, so we you know we worked. We went over. You guys and worked their stuff. And we had yeah. and a, lot, a lot of my scenes were with him. And okay. Then, and then Sophia and Dax, I spoke with a lot before, yeah. but they're both just. I, I've worked with both of them. Pros. Online. They're just so great. Total pros. Well, I was like, if they know their yeah, lines, exactly. they're going to kill it. Exactly. Yeah. And so it was you know minor adjustments here and there, but they were pretty. <laughs> just they walked on. They were right. It's like a, we got this. Yeah. No, <laughs> and it was awesome. fun. I mean, we had a, we have a, the same crew we always work with. There's yeah. only like what four or five of us yeah. max, and That's we're cool. we're all we we all just wear many hats, but we enjoy yes. being there. There's a lot of laughs happening in between it, takes and stuff. It and, was one of know. the best times I had on set in a really long time. It was, it was wonderful. It, it, it was. For you uh, you remind me of something I heard. Uh, Kevin Smith. You know, he made Clerks and, and made a splash. Mm -hmm. Then he goes on to his first Hollywood movie, Mallrats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's shooting that. I remember uh, he gets pulled aside by the Universal execs. They're like, Kevin, you know, movie filmmaking is not about just like playing around with your friends. He's like, really? He's like, really? well, if that's yeah. not it, then I don't want to do this yeah, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and thank God he didn't listen to whoever didn't that listen, exec right? who's probably, you know, not, yeah. not in the business anymore. And thank yeah. God, you know, then that's all Kevin does. No, that and, guy and, passed uh, away. He He's passed away. He's dead. Yeah, he died. Kevin killed him. I guess he I did. Mean, you know, with, fun. He, with fun. <laughs> with fun. With fun. With fun. But <laughs> Kevin had too much fun. And they just did Clerk Three. <laughs> Clerk Three was like a friend. Thing. All of his friends. Yes. Yeah, he just got all his friends yeah. in it. Yeah, I think I think I think Kevin's doing just fine making movies much, with Kevin his friends. Kevin was too much of an individual. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, I, when did you complete this? Uh, have you been submitting to a lot of festivals? Uh, we, 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 let, we shot it. One day in August, one day in September. Okay. And then, um, you know, got it together. This 
this is the first one we, we actually submitted to. Oh, yes. So is this the, like kind of the premiere? This is the premiere. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. This is the premiere. Yes. Um, um, and because we, we love Garden State. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, so, yeah, we decided to do it. We had to actually, we submitted, we were able to submit a not quite completed version. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A good version. Yeah, but yeah, they yeah, saw yeah. the magic. Yeah. Working, a working version, so you'll get it done we, soon. No, we were able, and that was we were grateful, and then we were able to finish it. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you, you guys got credit at this point. A lot of projects that yeah. uh, have been accepted. Yeah, I so. was, it's yeah. a great festival. It's, I, yeah. I, I tell you, I love what you, you guys do with this. Oh, we awesome. love this room. Yeah, we love it here. We went to be very welcoming and, and just fun. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yep. Yeah. Johnny Cash painting. We used to be over there. We used to Johnny, be over there. Johnny Cash us. painting. Yeah. We got which moved. The temp music for Meatloaf and Pie I took from Johnny Cash. Did you really? Just, mm-hmm. what, which, yeah. what songs? Uh, God Strike Me Down. Yeah. Wow, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you go around the corner, there's a Johnny yeah. Cash room over there. Yeah. It had the same, like, the that bluesy country, yeah. dark rhythm we wanted. Nice. Like, I was like, the tone. so I set the tone with that. I edited it to that, and wow. then I swapped out the music. When I love it. Hey, can we get the rights to that? No. no. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, we don't have that in the budget. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's um, that's amazing. So uh, premiering today at today? 3 o'clock at the Showroom Cinema yep. on Cookman Avenue in Asbury Park. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a hell of a venue. Yes, a lot of is. history there. I've been over there in a long time. I missed that place. Yeah, the it, it almost really shut great. down, and then someone yeah. went in and saved it, and luckily it's, a, it's again, a Garden State Film Festival venue. It's in venue. the big theater, the first theater there with yeah, the 60 yeah. seats. Beautiful. Yeah. Amazing. And, yeah, yeah, we're excited to see it in front of an audience. Man. Absolutely. Can I give one other little shout-out? Please do, yeah. yes. Yeah. Please do. So I'm also in another film tonight, not Ooh. for nothing as an actor. That's wow. play, it's a not feature for film. nothing. It's playing tonight. So. Well, well, when are we? Eight thirty at the showroom, I believe. I oh wow! Okay. So you're going to be over there. It's at, uh, is Asbury Lanes. It's not, it's okay, I'm like confused. It's uh, the, the art center. The art okay, center. So it's center. there. Okay. It's, it's right around. It's a little it's bit of a corner. You could center. actually walk there. Yeah, it's you not can that walk there. Yeah. So that's at eight thirty. Yeah. That's the old. But see me with some pie, definitely first. Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing not for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Is there anything we missed? I think uh, nice. I, just, I just shout out to the crew. Shout we have Chris out to the Pateko, crew. Chris Patanko, Tyler, Gina Shaw, Gina, <laughs> um, Nick Petros, Nick yeah. Petros. Uh, Nick Petros. <laughs> My mom for letting us uh, get in there and use Vincenzo's restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Vincenzo's restaurant. Yep. Shout out to Vincenzo's. Douglasville, Pennsylvania. Yes, Douglasville, Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, now I'm hungry. So thank you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Next time we'll bring you something. Yeah, thank you guys. Have some meatloaf. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, uh, if you guys are here at three o'clock, go to the showroom cinema. Check out Meatloaf and Pie at the Sunset Cafe. Uh, is there a trailer online? We go to no, YouTube. No, no, I'm gonna cut okay. one together eventually, but I don't, okay. I don't have time yet. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, this, this is, is their yeah. first one. Man. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, man. Good point. Uh, then, then just go see it. If you're not here, get over here at gsff.org for tickets and info. And you got time. You got an hour, oh, more than an hour and a half to go check get out over Sunset there. and uh, Meatloaf and Pie. Look plenty of time. At the Sunset Cafe. Thank you. You can go to Mo, Mojo, Moho Mojo, over there. Mojo, Mojo, Mojo over Mojo. there right, bef- you know, yeah. right before. So, yeah. Danny, uh, the out. Hunsickers, thank you very much, Thanks, guys. Man. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. We got a lot more. Uh, the Garden State Film Festival rolls on all weekend. Thank you, CJ. Yes. And uh, we'll, we will see you guys soon. Have a great day. All right.